Oh. <laughs> Trevor, what happened? You're sideways. My, uh, Matt, why are you holding your microphone? Okay. Oh, my, Am my I good now? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. And, jo and joining us is Mr. Trev Lee from thedarkroom.com, Instagram at the Darkroom Lab. Hi, Trev. How's it going? Going great. Good to see you Thanks, again. Trev. Yeah, same. Very Thanks very for having me. Before we talk about medium format, uh, uh, the reason I initially thought of having you on again was to talk about something that I actually I actually I haven't talked about recently because I was droning on about it, which is the Canon EOS line of 35 millimeter <laughs> SLR cameras. Yeah. Which, which I, I, I just love. I just, you I love just, them. I love them. I own the, the, uh, the pancake, the 40 millimeter pancake lens. I have mm -hmm. a bunch of zooms. I have a bunch of prime lenses. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, whenever Lamography would come out with a, like a special lens, like their, uh, their, uh, pretzel lens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Petzval right. lens, I would yeah. wear it with the EOS mount. So it was a thrill to see you talk about EOS because I really do think it's a great easy camera and especially a great camera for people to make a transition from digital to oh, film. Yeah. So they're no different almost in function if you shoot digital, yeah. Right. What's the pulse on Canon EOS in the uh, Midwest, Matt? You know what, Mike? I, I am an EOS evangelist. I've been shooting Canon for like 12 years and it's such a hard sell because everybody wants that FM2. Everybody oh. wants the K1000. They like go right they, for the top shelf. Yes, they want it. To, they just, they don't even care like if it works the same. A lot of times mm. they barely care if the meter works in some of these other cameras. They just want that look. They want to be seen with yeah. that really cool Chrome camera. And I'm like, look, you already shoot a <laughs> Canon digital spend 50 bucks, get this little EOS, you know, Rebel 2000. It's great. You already have good lenses. You're not starting from square one. You know how to use mm -hmm. it. Like it's such an, in my mind, it's such an easy transition and low risk, but you know, when you want to be seen with a cool camera, it's definitely like the, it's, it's not the, the prettiest uh, girl on the shelf, you know? They're, they're not expensive. No, no, they're not. Even their best one, I mean, even, well, here's, before I say this, you don't need the best one, and I can give a story why. Even the 1V, which is, like, insane camera. Top, top, um, yeah. And, like, I mean, that shot more frames per second than digital did until, <laughs> I think, 2012. And it's advancing film, which is crazy. Right. Um, so that camera's just insane. But the crazy thing is, is, like, that camera's not that expensive compared to all of its, what its competitors are. And it's better than almost any camera um, technically, but it's not, I mean, this, I mean, the rebel in this camera will take the same exact photo. It will, if you, if you know how to meter with your camera and have the same lens, it's, it's just, that's the cool thing about these cameras is that they're pretty much like a lot of people don't get that when they're first getting in, that it's not really the body. It's more about the metering, the lens and the film that you put into it. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of these lenses. And you're right, Matt, they're not the most attractive looking cameras. Like if I have, um, like everyone's going to be like, Oh, this one's so much prettier. Yep. But the cool thing about this camera and the rebel, the reason why I always say the rebel is such an awesome camera is because it costs like 25 bucks mm -hmm. if i drop it and it breaks i just buy which this happened once to me with any of any camera you just buy a new one it's like the best adventure everyday camera and it has a flash it's like a point and shoot basically yep with manual control matt does anyone come in and ask for a canon eos no but if <laughs> if i if i can keep keep them talking long enough and just really just show them like, look, I know you don't want to spend $200 on a film camera, but you, you want to take some cool film pictures. Here's a nifty fifth. I'll even sell them a nifty 50 brand new sometimes with the camera. And it's still less than getting that classic camera, which may or may not be approaching that age where, Oh, we're not so sure it's going to work anymore. This is going to work. Mm -hmm. You're just going to want to take that cool film shot, spend the good money on extra film, buy a few extra batteries and just have fun. So 
Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a huge evangelist of the EOS right. line. I hope your boss doesn't hear this, Matt, that you're trying to sell the low models. Oh, I mean, no, the, don't Matt. worry. They're, I'm selling <laughs> you them. You just film. lost 200 bucks. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, they're the. I, I feel like the EOS is also a good gateway into, like, gateway into film, like, because it builds confidence. So, like, if someone starts out with the EOS, mm, good point. One of those, eventually, they do start seeing if, like a FM2 or different things that cost more, and they're like, oh, I want something that looks the part, even though, like, quality wise, this outperforms, and for me personally on a regular basis, anything I ever do with FM2. And I mean, it's just hard to beat, especially with like a fast move, like my daughter who's two, you know, like autofocus, a good, like the flash is actually really good. And I actually do all of my paid, if I do paid work, it's with this camera, Mm. um, nothing else. Like I just did a whole thing for a magazine. It's all double exposures and camera on film. And it was all shot with this. Nice. That's a meaty looking camera. Which model is that? That's the the Elan Seven. Okay. Yeah, which is of kind cameras. of like I have it. What? Yeah, that camera. I think that the Elan Seven is the all around best EOS camera for price to specs. Right. It's like it's not quite. The, it's not the one V. It's not as durable as rugged. It's it's but it's better than the. It's a little more rugged than Rebel. Um, but it's also bigger. Right. Um, the Rebel is a lot smaller. But it's also, it's way smaller than a 1V. But 1V is like a, I mean, that's a weapon. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 